Hi guys, welcome to the Pedagogy TLS. Uh, today is Science Pedagogy Science Specialization Cycle Two. So let's let's start the mock questions. Uh, number one, uh, you should uh, remember the Bloom's taxonomy. Uh, sorry, uh, human taxonomy. Uh, that's a classification of the humans to compare the uh, other animals. Okay, so that. The ask about can be classified as the following. Which of the following does a uh, sapiens representing? So the sapiens, homo sapiens. So homos are representing the uh, genus. And the sapiens are uh, representing the uh, species. So one thing you should uh, remember, uh, the human classification, uh, as I have already answered for this. Uh, this is the human classification. Uh, this will help you to understand. So make sure you should uh, remember the hierarchy of the uh, taxonomy of a human. And moving to the next question. Uh, this question is talking about the which of the following statement about the ozone layer uh, is the misconception. So misconception, let's talk about the misconception. Uh, the whole ozone layer, the hole in the ozone layer is the main cause of uh, global warming. Of course, not. The hole in the ozone layer is located over the South Pole. This is the correct statement. Uh, the ozone layer forms a shield to protect. Correct. Uh, the formula of the ozone layer is uh, O3, correct? So this is the answer. The hole in the ozone layer is the main cause of the global warming. So this is the misconception. But let's have give the explanation for this. So you can see here, statement one is a misconception. Uh, it's located in south. It's protecting. And that's O3, okay? Uh, oxygen. Moving to the night one. <coughs> now this one is about the Big Bang Theory. Make sure you know the what is the Big Bang Theory. Uh, which of the following best describe how the phenomena of redshift uh, is used as an evidence to explain the beginning of the uh, universe? So redshift uh, shows the distance galaxies are moving at a slower rate, suggesting uh, that the universe is formed very slowly. Okay, in a single point. Single point is correct, but slow and very slowly uh, doesn't make sense. Uh, redshift shows galaxy are expanding outwards. They are expanding. Yes, they are expanding, suggesting the universe started at a single point. Makes sense. Uh, redshift indicates that stars are moving away from the Earth, yet closer to each other. Uh, they are moving away from the earth. Okay. Uh, yet closer to each other, suggesting that all matter started from them. But this point, they are not moving from the earth only. So this is wrong. Uh, Redshift indicates that the galaxies are uh, moving uh, uh, to each other. And suggesting the ultimate shrinking. Shrinking is not uh, clear. That's actually the expansion. There should be an expansion. So this is also wrong. So the option two is the correct uh, answer. Uh, so let's talk about a little bit, you know, what is the Big Bang Theory and uh, uh, the other important points. So Big Bang Theory is actually is a scientific explanation that the yen was started about 30 point <laughs> billions year ago from a single incredibly that's called the singularity right uh this is one of the point according to this theory the singularity suddenly expanded uh releasing the immense amount of the energy that we is called about you know the red or, or red shield lower so you should know what is the Big Bang Theory. And the second thing uh, you should know about the redshift. Uh, it's actually light from the distance galaxies appearing uh, towards the red end of the light spectrum. 
and uh, this shift occurs because of the galaxies emitting light are moving away from us stretching in the wavelength okay the faster a galaxy move more light is shifts to rate it has a two types doppler redshift and cosmological redshift uh, so you can further study about uh, so option two as i said uh, that's a correct answer for that okay uh, this point, which element represents the uh, electronic configuration, right? Electronic configuration of this. So uh, we have a one electron over here, 10 electron over here. And uh, this Aragon has an uh, 18, right? So this is a total. Let's see. Uh, then which one is in a, uh, the answer? We'll calculate it, okay? Uh, here you can see the Aragon is 18. Uh, this is an one electron. This is a 10 electron. That's a total is 29 electron. And that is the atomic weight of the copper. So you, I hope this will help you a lot. Uh, moving to the next. Oh, uh, which of the following uh, contains the largest volume of the fresh water? Largest volume, right? This is an, of course, you know, reverse are the extension uh, extended part or uh, from where a river gets the water they get water from the glaciers ground is the uh, limited water of the cable legs of course is you know the left path of the rivers okay so the glacier as the largest uh, water uh, fresh water okay but let's see how much is the fresh water so the quantity you must remember, uh, 68.7%, uh, groundwater is 30.1%, uh, lakes have a 0.6% and rivers have a 0.006%. Uh, so you should remember uh, the quantities uh, that will help you, uh, even a sense which is the second largest, um, most largest. So uh, these questions I wanted to share with you. Hopefully we'll be meeting with them. Uh, another uh, questions but for sure before the exam November uh, session you'll be getting all the mock test answers okay so keep subscribing and uh, drop nice comments on the video if you want any cl online classes or uh, materials please feel free uh, to contact whatsapp or email okay thank you so much uh, we'll be meeting in the uh, next lesson till that stay blessed take care uh, so